perfect. Hello there broskies, I'm Erkin. If you're new here, this is the life of a broski, where I do sneaker unboxings and reviews. So if that's your cup of tea, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And on today's episode, I am reviewing the Nike Air Force One Crater. Now we are going to look at the box just like we always do. To my surprise, I actually thought it was going to be the Move to Zero by Nike. And it's the black Air Force One box with the silver reflective Nike Air Force One on the front, which is actually nice to see. The writing here is of course Air Force One Crater in Summit White. So there you go, that's pretty much it. Nothing spectacular, but also very nice. Wow, 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 it's very nice. And I am going to address the elephant in the room. Yes, Nike are marketing these sneakers as women's shoes, but this Summit white version to this classic Air Force One, it's actually a shame they aren't bringing some men's sizes because you could easily pass these off as a unisex sneaker. And for me, I wouldn't have any trouble rocking these. And there isn't really much feminine touches to this sneaker, but that pure platinum colorway, I'm not sure a lot of men could get away with that color. Now what separates this sneaker from your average Air Force One is if you haven't already guessed it made from a lot of recycled materials. Now Nike claim this features a Nike Crater foam midsole which is a blend of the standard Nike foams and 11% Nike grind rubber and you can already tell there is a massive difference to the aesthetic of this sneaker just by looking at this midsole and of course the outsole. That mashed up recycled finish to this grind rubber you can definitely spot the difference. It's more evident towards the forefront and the back of this midsole with those dark grey accents. It's got a very different feel and finish compared to the rest of the outsole which is actually a lot softer and has more of a foam like finish. Now not only is the midsole made of recycled material so is the upper. Now of course we've got the contrast of the different materials on the upper towards the forefront and the toe box. It's got that silky nylon finish which actually exposes the recycled material underneath. Now Nike also claimed that this is made of a total of 20% recycled material so these do feel a lot lighter than your conventional Air Force One. Now towards the mid panel of this sneaker the Nike swooshes on the medial and lateral sides are made of that synthetic leather and just underneath that which also runs all across the lacing it has that nubuck feel and finish. Now it's nice to see the expansion exposed stitching which adds to that recycled look. We've got the Nike Air branding and Air Force One on top of that tongue and the material on the outside is again of that new buck finish and on the inside along with the collar it is made from mesh. Now finishing off at the heel counter we've got the Nike Air branding at the back stitched in white on top of that synthetic leather badge. So there you go broskies, that is the Air Force One Crater in this stunning Summit White. Now these are retailing here in the UK for 95 pounds. And broskies, if you are thinking of copying a pair, I will leave some purchase links down below so you can check out the latest prices and sizes. But when it comes to the sizing of this sneaker, this fits like the normal Air Force One. So I would advise go half a size down. So this sneaker using a lot of recycled materials does it have a big impact in terms of that feel on foot and it's a bit of both really yes and no they don't feel as stiff compared to the classic Air Force One you also have a lot more room in terms of flexion and of course you haven't got to worry about the creasing that nylon finish to the forefront of this sneaker just makes this sneaker a lot more enjoyable but I've got to say when it comes to the comfort very much improved in that department 
department. It's actually a real shame these didn't come out any sooner. These would have been a summer banger in my opinion. But when it comes to comfort overall out of 10, I am going to give an 8 and a half. Now we all know the classic Air Force One sneaker. That leather finish has always held back that ventilation and breathability. And thankfully Nike has changed this silhouette up quite a bit. Having that nylon finish to the forefront of this sneaker has done this sneaker wonders when it comes to breathability. Honestly, these are very light on foot. If you were to wear these in a hot country or in the summer, these could actually be your daily sneakers. I'm going to compare it to the Flyknit 2.0s. They haven't beaten them in terms of the ventilation, but they are right behind it. So out of 10 for breathability, I am going to give a high score of 9. Much improved compared to the classic and a definite one to consider for the summer. So broskies. There are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands a few moments later of Air Force Ones on this planet. So does this do enough to separate itself from all of those sneakers and are these a buy or a buy? As soon as I saw this sneaker released, I was drawn to it like a moth to a flame. I just knew it would do something very different but also maintaining its classic look and finish. I've got to say it's hard to pick any flaws with this sneaker. So overall broskies, I am going to give this silhouette a buy. But I am interested to know what you think. Even though Nike are claiming this is a woman sneaker, are you thinking of getting a pair? Are you waiting for different colorways? Or is this a total miss? Leave all your comments down below and of course I will be pinning the best one. Anyways broskies that's enough from me. I do hope you liked this video and as always don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share and of course until the next episode take care.